Hey, everybody, this is Brother Ida Contreras, and we are in Calispell, Cal, uh, Cal Montana, with the John Peters himself, Mr. John Peters himself, the evangelist, the one that goes and puts banners and magnets across America and across the world. And today is our last day. We're getting ready to depart our journey from Montana. We had a great week of, uh, of just putting up banners. The Bible says, if my name, Jesus said, if my name be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And so we went out this week and we put up banners and we were able to pray for people and we pulled into random homes with fences and we, we met people, they came to Bible study, people got saved, people got delivered, people got set free. And that's what happens when you put up the name of Jesus. You, you allow, when you come together, the Bible says two or three are gathered and he's in the midst. And when you come together, you create an atmosphere where God can be worshiped, where he can be praised, where the atmosphere will shift and something will begin to stir. And so that's what we did this week. And uh, it was very fruitful. Thank you, everybody that prayed for us and, and donated towards this ministry and towards this trip and uh, very fruitful. But here's John Peters with a, a message. Well, hallelujah. You know, nobody gets a redo. We had a wonderful week. I mean, giving praise to God and lifting up our hands to give Him glory and honor and praise that don't get any better. As we see the, the world and our country and our communities going into chaos, there's lawlessness, there's ungodliness, and they don't want the light. The devil has come to steal, kill, and to destroy, but Jesus says, I've come to give life and life more abundantly. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So if you know anybody, we'll probably be coming to California maybe in October, November, December. Uh, we're looking for churches to co-labor with where we can uh, have services every night, have baptisms, and I'll tell you what, if you're going to fall for what's happening now, you're going to fall for anything. And you've got to be steadfast, unmovable, abounding in the works of Jesus, because we know our works in Jesus is not in vain. So contact Evangelist Eli or myself. Uh, let us know if you want to get involved. Uh, you can see, uh, magnetize your vehicle. The Bible says he's given a banner to them that fear God, that the banner might be displayed because of the truth. In Deuteronomy 32, 3 and 4, it says, we're going to publish his name throughout the earth. We're, you and I, we're going to ascribe God's greatness. So join us. Come together. Magnetize your vehicle. And if you see somebody, say, can I give you a gift today? Can I pray for you? We just had people over here. They were broken. And when they left, they were joyous. They were giving it to Jesus. It's, you don't have to carry that burden, that heart of unforgiveness or an unrepentant heart. Jesus said, unless you repent, you're all going to perish. And he said, well, unless you forgive... You're not going to be forgiven. A lot of people I've had, I know, they say to me, well, Philip, I forgive you, but I don't want to see you anymore. And I'm thinking, well, what kind of forgiveness is that? What if Jesus said to you and me, I forgive you, but I don't want you in my kingdom. So you see, we've got to forgive, have a restoration, a reconciliation, love each one, love one another, pray for one another, and come before His presence with singing. And his courts with praise. So anyway, I want to thank Eli and the team for coming up here. Uh, I love co-laboring with Eli because I love his heart and his spirit. And whatever time I've got left on planet Earth, the darkness is coming and it's going to get exceedingly dark. Will you be able to stand? And it's not whether you know Jesus. It's whether Jesus knows you and your name is written in the book of life. We love you. Press in, strive to enter in the kingdom of God, be in your word every day, get on your knees, and get in that living bread daily. We love you. Contact us. Go forth and tell someone about Jesus today. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So again, you know, there's... Kent. Hello, and here's Kent. Brother Kent. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're leaving. I love this guy. I, I love this. I, this has been a great week. I mean, an awesome week seeing God move. I pray that the church catch fire and be out in the streets. We need to bring the church to the street, not try to bring the street into the church because it's a sick and dying world out there. People are hurting. We saw God heal, restore, redeem. So I just want to encourage you guys. That, uh, John Peters has a vision. Uh, it's, you know, it's not everybody's vision, but people can surely come alongside and co-labor with this man and help out and it's spread the It's everybody's vision to magnify the Lord and exalt His name. Amen. Amen. I hope Amen. you can you, buddy, but no, I love that, you. That's okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God gives us leaders, though, to follow, and, and He's one that God has actually burdened for this ministry. So any church that comes alongside, you will be blessed. You will be blessed. That's all I can say in Jesus' name. Isn't it, but isn't it true? Isn't yes, it true? That's true? Yes. God's word will never return in void. That's right. That's it will right. accomplish what He pleases. That's right. And it'll prosper where He sends Amen. it. And Amen. And Jesus, if Amen. I'm lifted up, 
I'm this gonna is do Mr. what? Phyllis. I'm gonna draw old men to me. And it's been a pleasure to have Phyllis yeah. here. Yes. Tell him, Phyllis, what you think. Yes, and I wanna say if you wanna see the Lord move, position yourself. Position yourself. Amen. I believe that's what Amen. we've done this week. We came Amen. here and we uh, to John's and uh, we positioned ourselves and we saw the Lord move in a mighty way. It was an awesome week. <laughs> Amen. 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 So again, you know, this is Brother Eli Contreras from Through Christ Ministries, and this is what we do. We mag we magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. He's our heart. He's our life. He's our world. He's everything to us. And uh, somebody told me, Brother Eli, are you really going to put magnets all over your brand new car? I'm like, this car don't belong to me. This car belongs to Jesus. This car has no value except for the purpose it is to tra to get us to travel back and forth, to preach the Word of God, to minister the Word of God. And I said, I'm not concerned about this. If, if God could give me this car, God can give me another car. I'm not going to be worried about I Of course, I'm going to put Jesus all over his car. He's the owner of this car. He owns this vehicle. He gave us this vehicle and he owns this vehicle. And if I could wrap this thing, I would wrap it and say, Jesus Christ is Lord all the way around it. And um, I love Jesus with my whole heart. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for partnering with us, believing in us and, and praying with us and supporting us. Uh, you know, I, I just, I appreciate every single one of you. You know, I want you all to know that every one of you that has prayed for us and every one of that you had that has donated even a dollar or five dollars throughout our journey, that you have planted a seed, a seed in the kingdom because when you plant a seed into this ministry, this ministry, you, you partner with, uh, with, with God and allowing us to go and, and preach the gospel and souls are being saved. Souls are being saved. I, I, I took a picture the day of, of two crosses sitting in front of John's uh, property and we met a man. I went and spoke at a, um, I went and spoke at a men's home, a women's home, uh, with the second day we were here and, and one of the brothers that came up, his name was Michael. He came up for prayer and weeping, just weeping, just weeping. And, and, and when he, when he came up for prayer, we prayed for him and, and John Peters immediately offered him a job. He says, if you want to, if you want to work, he says, I'll show up at my ranch at tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. And, and he showed up and he showed up and he told us a story about those crosses that are sitting. You can't see them because they're behind these, these buildings. But he told, he told us a story about the, how when he was homeless and, and he was sitting in his car in front of those crosses and he was sleeping in his car and he would just pray and, and all he had was Jesus. And, and so, I mean, we heard story after story, testimony after testimony of people that, uh, that saw Jesus somewhere. And, you know, you may not think it's affected every thought, you know what, I want to put that on my car, I don't want to scratch my paint. But, you know, we're talking about souls, we're talking about salvation, we're talking about, you know, people's eternity and, you know, a, a paint on a car, it, compared to somebody's eternity in heaven or hell, you know, we, we have to make a choice, you know, are we going to be about this life or are we not? And it's not in this, and I'm not necessarily saying about putting a, a, a magnet on your car, but I'm talking about living for Jesus, living for Jesus, giving your whole heart to Jesus, giving him everything, everything. He don't want half your heart. He wants all your heart. He didn't just nail one hand to the, and one foot to the cross. He nailed his whole body to the cross. He gave his whole self. He gave his whole self for the sake of humanity. And he says, uh, and we're supposed to be Christ-like. We're supposed to follow him like the, like the disciples follow Jesus. We want to follow Jesus like the disciples did. And we want to be known as people that, that we want to be recognized as people that were with God. That were with God. Amen. And so we're on our journey back to, uh, to California. There's two other brothers here, one from Hanford and one from Oregon. He flew in from Oregon to help us, but they're on the other side of the property, weed eating and putting up uh, one last sign, two last signs before we, we, uh, we, uh, we journey off. And it's been an awesome week. It's been an awesome week. This is the barn aminium that we slept in. We slept in the barns. There's, there was horse, uh, horse, um, stalls in these barns, but they, they, they turned them into bar, to rooms. And up, up there is going to be a worship center. And there's a Show kitchen the in there. Room, Let's give you a tour. John wants to give you a tour of the um, Barnuminium. This used to be the for the horses, and it's they're they're right now they're changing it. They're changing it.